Let's take a look at some interesting facts about poinsettias. Poinsettias are native to Mexico. The ancient Aztecs used poinsettias to make red dye and turn their poinsettia sap to control fevers. Contrary to popular belief, poinsettias are not poisonous. Poinsettias are not always red. The showy, colorful part of the poinsettia isn't a flower. It's a modified leaf. And lastly, poinsettias need both sunshine and dark nights to bloom. Let's use our poinsettia project as an inspiration as we get started. Might have to tap off any of that extra paint. And then the nice thing about this is you can go off the edge and then I'm kind of doing it in a spiral or circular fashion. You can see I can make multiple prints. And then when I start to run out, dip it into the paint again and place that in place, okay? You'll notice that I don't have to squeeze it real hard. I just gently push it down. Okay, now you can do as many of these as you want. I kind of like them if they go off the edge of the paper just a little bit because then it makes it look like it go, go on and on and on. Again, just gentle little tap. You don't have to push down hard. There we go, there's two using that color. Then you travel to another station to get a different color. And at that station, use the sponges that are at that station. And again, this is on real thick. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tap it off to the edge of the paper or off to the side so that it's not on uber thick. Okay, so you can kind of see how it's really thick there and then I just use the side so that it nicely covers it. And then I'm just gonna look at where I wanna place it and tap that in place. And going around in a circle, creating my poinsettias. Okay, and there we go. Looks like I've got a little bit more room over here. Okay, tapping that in place, going around and around and around. And then I've got four, I might even just do one more off the edge right here. Like there's a flower way over there. Okay, now that I've got my poinsettias done, I will take a paintbrush and paint on some petals. The green petals that are off to the edge. You don't have to do them all. Just pick out a few little places where you think that there should be a poinsettia leaf. you don't want any leaves, I don't know. Totally up to you. Okay. Using the opposite side of a paintbrush, I'll dip that into the yellow and add a few dots of yellow paint for the center of the flower. into any color background you want. Any color that you want for your background. When you choose a color of paint for your background, you'll notice that I'm staying away from the printed flower or printed poinsettia and I'm painting the background, leaving just a little bit of white, not a lot, but a little bit of white so that my flower stands out. The other thing you might notice is that when I'm painting my background, the whole thing is just painted in with one color. 
Once you choose a color for your background, stay with that color. Completely paint the whole entire background with that one color. I sped it up a little bit so that you guys can get started a little faster. Now I have less white in my background and the flowers really stand out. This is one example and here's a second example. I hope you had fun watching this project. Happy art making.